Welcome back, everybody, to our third session. We are going to start with a talk on an interpreter for functional reactive programming language. And who is going to present? Thank you for the introduction. I'm Go Suzuki, an undergraduate student at the Institute of Technology. Let me start with the overview of this work. This work aims to accelerate the prototyping of small scale embedded system. The term small scale here means resource constraint device, devices such as microcontrollers. Towards the, this goal, we have developed an interpreter for functional reactive programming. For, for functional reactive programming language than for embedded systems. In particular, the interpreter enable, enables, to, enables interactive development by providing a read, evolve, print, loop environment running on resource constraint devices. The design goal of the interpreter includes interactively definable and redefinable time varying values, low memory consumption, and good real time, real time performance. The current contributions include a prototype, prototype implementation of the interpreter named MFRP level and its evaluation concerning memory consumption and end to end latency. Through uh, this, pre this presentation, I use a simple implementation of Termin as an example. Termin is an electrical, electronic musical instrument that controls its sounds by detecting the position of the performer's hands with antennas. The example shown here is a simple one that controls the frequency and volume of the output sound using a single TOF sensor that measures the distance to the performance hand. Now, I will show how to implement this example using functional reactive programming. But uh, so, what is functional reactive programming abbreviated as FRP? There is a programming paradigm that supports the development of reactive systems, which continuously interact with their environment, such as GUI or embedded systems. The essential idea of FRP is time varying value. Was signal, which abstracts a value that changes over time. In the example, the distance to the performance has, which is the TOS sensor reading, the frequency and volume of the output, output sounds, and the sound internal values uses, uses to calculate the output. Uh, time varying values. In FRP, the behavior of a reactive system is described as a directed graph where nodes are time varying values and edges represent their dependencies. FRP can support polling and callbacks, which are common patterns used to describe reactive behaviors, but can reduce code readability. Our research group has de designed and implemented MFRP. Uh, FRP language for small scale embedded devices. 
Through several applications, we have shown that FRP is suitable for resource constrained embedded systems based on microcontrollers such as AVR, ESP32, and Cortex M3. The MFRP compiler generates efficient C codes so, so that we can run even on a, a 8 bit microcontroller like this one in the video. Not afraid. Now, let me show how to write the term in MFRP. Here is the MFRP program module implementing the example. In MFRP, time varying values are called nodes, and they are classified into three kinds input, output, and intermediate nodes. This example consists of four nodes. One input node named TOF, representing the row sensor reading. Uh, and and, and two output nodes named frequency and value representing the parameter of the output sound. And one internal and uh, intermediate node named TOF normalizes representing the process, process sensor reading used to calculate the output. The values of output and intermediate nodes are defined using the keyword node. The connection between input and output nodes and external devices, such as sensors and speakers, and are separated, separatedly written as C functions. As you can see in this example, an uh, MFRP code looks simple. You do not need to write polling loops or callback functions to update sensor reading and its dependencies. Program execution in MFRP is expressed as updating node values. Here is an example. Now, the value of the input node TOF is 10. The values of the other nodes are like this. Suppose that the value of the wave becomes 1600. Then the value of the wave normalized, which directly depends on the OF, changes to 1500 according to its definition. Finally, the values of the two output nodes also change like this. Let me now summarize the execution model of MFRP. As ex explained previously, a program is a directed graph of time varying values and their dependencies. MFRP does not have loops in the graph so that we can topologically sort the nodes along the dependencies. Nodes are uh, updated along the sorted path. A single update sequence from the in input node to the output node is called an iteration. The program execution of MFRP is expressed as the repetition of the iteration. MFRP provides the operator at last to refer to, to the value of a node at the previous moment. This actually gives the value of the node in the previous iteration. This, this operator makes it pos possible to describe state dependent behavior. In this example, the current sound will be kept when the performance had leaves the sensor's measurement range. Okay, 
Now let me explain the motivation for this work. The development process for embedded system using MFRP is the same as usual, usual cross development. This means that each time a change is made to a program, the executable binary, binary of the entire program generated, generated on the development PC must be reloaded onto the target device. However, this can be quite tedious. For example, if you want to test your program, right, changing its parameters gradually. In addition, some target devices require manual operations for program loading, which are hard, hard to automate. To address this issue and accelerate the prototyping of small scale embedded systems, we designed and implemented MFRP Labo, an interpreter for an FRP language similar to MFRP. The interpreter provides a read even print loop environment running on resource constraint target devices, which enables interactive and incremental development. The only thing required on a development PC is a terminal emulator. A rise to try used for typical cross development is not required. We made several changes from MFRP to adapt the level. MFRP is such great type, but MFRP level is dynamically typed. MFRP determines that the memory consumption and the response time are bounded at compile time. So MFRP has strong restrictions. However, these determinations in REPL are very difficult. MFRP REPL relaxes these restrictions, allowing fast plus functions as recursions. This is to broaden the applications. Interpreters for embedded devices such as MicroPython and MMRuby slash C are used even in production use. Of the easy modification of the program and the safety. And there are some applications not requiring performance. Here is an example in MFRP repo. We can define nodes via the terminal emulator. In the first line, the node frequency is redefined. No commands are required before or after the redef feature. In the set line, the, uh, the null frequency is redefined again, and the dependency will be changed. But MFP level automatically resorts the node. If there is a cyclic reference, MFP therefore reports an error and restores before the modification. The input node QF and the output node frequency and volume are predefined by the interpreter. For easy out definition, MFRP therefore provides simple APIs. We show an example of APIs in the next page. These programs are initializing MFRP repo. MFRP add input nodes and MFRP add output nodes defines input and output nodes. And the third argument is a callback. It was sent that. Receive the value from the sensors and the uh, uh, speaker frag frag uh, send, send the value to the prefer. Red drawing uh, reading a user input. URL is available for the serial and checks whether the user input is available. 
if input comes, MFRP level is the line of the input for evaluation. And if nothing comes, MFRP update executes an iteration as the green line. I will explain about the implementation. Currently, MFRP report traverses ASP and never compiles into any bytecode. Three microcontrollers have been tested, such as ESP32 uh, and Cortex M. The minimum RAM size we tested is 96 kilobytes. For the implementation goal, interactively redefinable time varying values, MFRP level write a journal to revert a redefinition of the nodes if the redefinition fails. MFRP allows tuple named nodes, and the MFRP level also allows to redefine part of tuple named names. So in this example, it is necessary to record what was pressed in X. The object representation helps to reduce the memory consumption. Now, in words, like in line in pointers, objects are fixed size and four words. One and two elements are specialized since MFRP level has records, two elements, and a type indicator and a tag for records filling four words of two elements tuple. Many elements tuples and symbol tables are get additional buffers because they, are, they have long arrays and hash table. We use real-time garbage portion to achieve good real-time performance. Unexpected long GC ports can lead to miss deadlines and iterations. This is also a fatal error in the case of integrals or the preferred has to receive sig signals on each station, even if the prototype. For real time performance, we use snapshot DC. The entire process of snapshot DC is divided into chunks, each of which is executed when a new allocation is required. Let me talk about evaluation. We measure the memory consumption and the end-to-end -end latency of an iteration. This micro benchmark constructs a tuple and pass the values through from GPL 16 to GPL 17. We measure the free heap size after executing 0, 10 or 100 iterations. The end-to-end -end latency of the iteration is the delay between GPL 16 and GPL 17. As a result, compared to MicroPython, the memory consumption is moderate. MicroPython allocates okay, tuples in the manager heap, but MFP repo allocates okay, additional buffers uh, in a manager heap because three elements tuples exceed four words. The sum of MFRP levels consumes heap memory is like MicroPython. The results of latencies are in MFRP repo, the range is about 20, 25 to 60 microseconds. In MicroPython, 70 microseconds to 2.4 milliseconds. This shows that the real time performance of MFRP repo is better than MicroPython because MicroPython implements knife, mic, and sweep GC. Now, then, I'd like to explain about future works. First, improved program evaluation speed. Currently, MLP level just traverses ASP. 
MLHP level is much slower than microprocessor. Second, GC in the idle time. If iterations are executed periodically, it is easier to predict the idle time. Third, improve the algorithm for the load redefinition. To summarize everything, we implemented MFP level an interpreter for functional reactive programming on small embedded devices. MFRP level allows us to do prototyping rapidly thanks to level and FRP. We also evaluated the memory conception and the latency. As a result, the memory conception is moderate and real-time performance is higher than microprocessor. A demo video is available on a uh, detailed page of, of the uh, conference website. Thank you for listening. <laughs>